Hello everyone. I want to kind of show a, a Thanksgiving alternative to the standard gigantic turkey in the gigantic platter with 25 people all around the table that you see on television. For so many people, and we definitely fall into that group, that giant turkey is a giant waste. It doesn't fit in the refrigerator and we don't have, really have any way to cook it. And what we really like is just the turkey breast. So this gives us a way to have turkey the way we want it, the turkey that we like, and we have this year-round uh, because it's easy. We bought a couple of turkey breast, fresh turkey breast, or thawed turkey breast, whatever, at the grocery store. You could just as easily have gotten your standard uh, whole turkey breast out of the frozen and thawed it out in one way or another, cut it in half or left it. And we rinsed it off put in our, our favorite little rub for cooking outside with and this time we decided to add as you can see a whole bunch of fresh rosemary rosemary and turkey were just made for each other now I didn't want to have to clean the cast iron pot afterwards so we're doing it in an aluminum pan but we don't want the aluminum so we've got the parchment paper they get a little brown around the edges but it'll still cook just fine so I got the grill going it's actually cold enough I wouldn't mind the heat inside this today, but I got the grill going. And we're going to pull it over. And the grill's going to be about 400 degrees. And it'll take about, about two and a half hours for this to cook. And what we'll do is we'll cook it for about an hour, hour and a half. And then I'll put aluminum foil over the top so that it doesn't dry out anymore. It stays nice and moist. Now, this then means that we're going to have a nice turkey in, in about three hours. We're going to have two big turkey breasts. And with just two people eating it, that's at least four meals and a couple of lunches. So, this will just be amazing. And I'll keep you up to it as we continue cooking. So, here's the quick and easy alternative to that giant turkey in the oven that cooks for half a day. So, these turkeys were rubbed in some olive oil. Uh, our rub we use on chicken and, and pork and, and beef and whatever which is basically an onion garlic powder mix with paprika and some hot peppers and a little brown sugar uh, for a liquid inside to help it we had some chicken broth that we cut with some water because uh, you want to have some liquid in there so it doesn't just dry out and then we sprinkled some I cut two about six inch stems of rosemary three stems of rosemary off one of the plants out front and those have been cut up on there and they'll just they'll give tremendous flavor to the turkey so that gives you what the ingredients are and we'll see how they're doing it's right now it's 1235 so we'll see how we do on time all right it's uh, about an hour and 10 minutes later and here's how things are looking we're going to put the thermometer in. Let's see, poultry 180. This should have a long way to go. I just want to get an idea if it's starting to show anything at all yet. Oh, and in an, only an hour, we're up to 160. We don't have a whole long way to go. Let's see how the other one here is doing. It's even a little further. So I believe I'm going to get some aluminum foil and get this covered because I do see it's starting to, to dry out some on the parchment paper. So we're going to get this covered so that we hold in all those juices in the turkey. Alright, I've got the foil on. Still at 400 degrees, so we'll give it another half hour. So this may actually cook at 400 degrees. These turkey breasts may be done in an hour and a half's cooking time which certainly puts it into an easy thing to do in the evening after work or, or just in a couple of hours. So we'll see how they look in another half hour. It's All right, it's 2.15. So this thing has been on the grill a little less than two hours. I'm going to see if we can pop it open, see how it looks. I'm guessing that it's done. Oh boy. Oh, this is looking good in here. Let 
and there we go yep done and done so less than two hours turn the heat off turn the gas off Now I'm going to get the aluminum foil back on it, hold that in and get it inside so it can be cooling off. We've had this sitting inside cooling off, so now it's ready to take the meat off the bone. If you were serving this for a meal, you're, you're ready to go and you could slice it right off of here. But we're going to take all of it off and put it in the refrigerator or the freezer and have it for later on. You can see how nicely this came out with the rosemary. It came out nice and brown. So we're going to move it over here to the cutting board and take the meat off. So I'm going to slide this just a little bit to give me room to work and see what we can get out of here. Now if you are serving people, you have two of these, we're not skin, turkey skin people, so I'm going to cut the skin off. Put that in the pan. If you were serving people, you've got a turkey breast just like you have on a turkey. And it's ready to slice however you'd like to slice it to get nice big slices for people. I'll give it a, this is just a big slice to show you how it can come out. Uh, very nice slices. Really, really pretty slices you can bring off. The other one I'm going to do just as, as big as a single chunk as I can. The cutting board would have worked better, but we'll make do. So, if you see that finger snitching over, it's not mine, obviously. So, what's the taste test verdict? Delicious! So, a little luck in not having a camera in the way. You could slice this a lot better than I can. But, look at the amount of meat that's coming off of this. And this is just a turkey breast. We don't eat the wings, we don't eat the legs, we don't eat the back. The, uh, the thigh meat we eat, but you can also just buy thighs and eat just the thighs. But remember this only cooked for an hour and a half and it was ready. So we're talking about something you could start at noon and serve dinner at three easily. Uh, or start it at five or six and serve it that night. So this takes all that extra work out of doing an entire turkey. Just eliminates it and for, for uh, one or two people or three people and you particularly if you only like the breast, just do it this way. Uh, and we'll stop on this one because we all know what it's like to pick all the last of the meat off. And I'll put it over here so that the prying, snitching, sampling fingers get out of the way. And now I'm going to pull the other breast over. And as I said, we don't do the skin, so I'm going to get the skin off. And I'm going to garble a minute because i got a piece coming my way. Oh, I love the rosemary. If you haven't tried rosemary on... Oh, if you haven't tried rosemary on chicken or turkey, you're really missing something. That's quite amazing. And we're going to take this turkey breast. I'm going to cut it here kind of low. See, we got a bone here to work with. Then we're going to come over. Slice it right straight across. You got that wishbone will jump in there on you. 
but even with the camera in the way you can see I've got a nice big piece of meat ready to go of course that's going to freeze or store beautifully because it's all nicely lumped up nice big piece so it won't dry out and then we're going to get the rest of this no well, there isn't any bone there that's all meat there We're going to peel the meat off. So I'll show you what we get off these two breasts after I finish peeling everything off. Alright, here's the remains of the cutting board. I'm going to get it out of the way. Here's the pan that we cooked in. Now, here's the really cool part. is You just take this whole thing here, put the aluminum foil in it, Put whatever else you got laying around in it. Whole thing goes in the garbage can. That's called a clean pot. And then over here we have the mountain. Wow! That's the mountain of I picked all the little pieces off. I'm what I didn't eat we piled on here. So we have little pieces for sandwiches. When we have a lot of slices for dinners. And we have a nice big pretty piece that can be thawed out and sliced up that will freeze. Most of this will end up in the freezer in little portion bags because there's only two of us. So this was, we started it at 1235 and it was done by 215. We're looking at an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes to have two turkey breasts done. And then it's just a matter of the slicing and the eating. That's about as good as it gets certainly beats that big 16 18 pound turkey cooking all day Jeez, I hope it comes out okay when the family shows up so here's your alternative to have turkey and you can do this all through the year because turkey is great and don't forget the rosemary thank you for watching